Hi, I'm Tina and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about how to add a product to an existing variation listing on Amazon. But before we get started, first I want to say that you need to be approved to create a listing for the brand that you're attempting to. Sometimes you don't know if you will be allowed to or not until you actually go through this process and upload it um, and see if Amazon gives you an error back after you've done this. They are getting so much stricter at Amazon for creating listings if you're not the brand owner. It's it used to be so incredibly easy, but it is getting a lot harder. So sometimes it's worth getting GTIN exemption for um, brands to be able to do this. Otherwise, sometimes you need to get approval and Amazon will only give it to you for, say, 72 hours. This has been my most recent experience. So before I dive in, I needed to create a listing for women's Hanes products. And so I'm not the brand and Amazon gave me a 72 hour window of approval to list my item. But I had to jump through some hoops to get this permission. So these items did not exist on Amazon at all. I did have an invoice from a supplier that I bought them from, so that was helpful. It wasn't like I got them at Walmart. <coughs> Excuse me. So I uploaded my invoice and then I took pictures of the product in the packaging just laying on a table. I didn't have fancy white background images because Amazon actually doesn't want that. They want what they call a real world image and a real world image is your product just laying on the chair, on a couch, on the carpet and taking pictures of the front of it, the back of it and showing that UPC code on the product so they can see that that UPC code does in fact belong to that brand. And so then once I was approved, I was able to go through what I'm going to show you right now. Now, um, that's not always the case. I just want you to know that if you get a no the first time, don't give up. You know, open up a case and explain why you're needing to add this product. You know, say, I'm not the brand owner, but this product is this brand. This is the UPC. I would like to add it to Amazon's catalog. And you will get a yes. So anyway, we're going to move forward with how to add your product to an existing variation listing on Amazon. First, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your Amazon account and you're going to hover over the inventory tab at the top, scroll down here to add a product, and you're going to um, have this window open up here. And at the bottom, and actually the window, there are things above um, this screenshot. This is just when you scroll down the page slightly. What you're going to do is go over to this create variations, click on the blue wording underneath it that says create variations using variation wizard. And when you do that, it is going to open up the following page. What you will do is in the search bar box, you will add an ASIN from that listing. It does not matter what ASIN, it doesn't even have to be the parent ASIN any ASIN from your variation. So let's say it's for a pair of jeans and there are many colors and sizes for the jeans. Just grab an ASIN, throw it in the box, click the search. Once you do that, it's going to open up that listing and all the variations that are on it. It's like a little spreadsheet within Amazon. Sometimes by doing this, you can actually find that your variation is here in the back end. It just doesn't show up on Amazon's page or even when you put the UPC into Amazon. Maybe it's just so old it doesn't pop up because I have found lots of um, ASINs here in Variation Wizard 
at times um, that just wouldn't pop up the old fashioned way. So here you can see on this for these Gloria Vanderbilt jeans that there are pages of variations. We are going to choose this button that says add a variation and you're going to click on that. When you do, it's going to now open up a row for you to add your jeans information. And what you'll do in those empty boxes, you're basically going to copy and paste what the jean is above um, because I'm guessing that your jean in this example is going to be the same type but just a different size or perhaps a different color. So in this one it says, you know, taper jean Scottsdale wash 16 short. You maybe will copy all the way to jean, paste it here in this box, and then type in your color if it's not Scottsdale wash and your size. In the next box it defaults to the word GTIN. If you click the blue uh, arrows it will drop down for you to choose UPC. Then in the following box you are going to enter the correct UPC off your item in this box. Um, then you're going to in the next box put the size. Let's say it's 12 short. And then in this drop down menu, even though, uh, let's say for this case example, it is Scottsdale Wash, in this drop down, Scottsdale Wash won't be an option, but you're going to choose the color that's the closest to it. So you would choose blue. In the, the next box, you're going to type in the actual color, Scottsdale Wash. And then in the next box, if it doesn't let you type in 12 short, um, you may have to choose large and you can fix that later on your spreadsheet that you will get. You're going to select the condition, which of course should be new. In the following box is how many you have. I always choose zero. I'm just trying to get it to create an ASIN. And then in the last box, you are going to put the price of what you plan on selling it for on Amazon. Usually I choose the average price of all the other variation listings that are on Amazon. When you're done entering in all your information, which you'll see I kind of fake put something in here so you can see what it looks like, you're going to choose save and click that button. When you do that, you now are going to generate a template because now it's populated up here. What you just did, it already populated your information. If you made a mistake, you can choose the edit button at the very end and fix any errors. Once you're done, generate template. What is going to happen is down below, it is going to populate your template and it's usually ready to go right away. And you're then going to click this blue download and it is going to download into your computer the template that you just made. I'm on a Mac so mine always defaults to numbers. When I open that download it gives me this when I click it. Up top you see its icons and then you'll see all of these other tabs at the top. You have to click this scroll arrow at the very end to take you to your template and it will be titled template and your template is going to look something like this. When you scroll, this is a very, very long template. You do not have to fill in all of these other things. Keep it just like it downloaded. But in that area where we couldn't put the size and it just said large, find that box on this template and type in 12 short or whatever that size was. And this is only if you are have a Mac and it automatically goes to numbers because it needs to be put into Excel. If yours opens up in Excel, you're good to go. So since I do have numbers for me, I have to change it to export to Excel here and then it will save it as an Excel file to my computer. You can name it whatever you want to help you remember um, your file when we go to upload it into Amazon. Once you're done with that, you're going to go back to inventory and you're going to hover over it to get the drop down menu and you're going to choose 
Add Products via Upload. You're going to click on that. Once you click on that, it opens you up to this page. What you're going to do is click the blue area where it says Browse Files. Um, if it doesn't default you to this Upload Your Inventory File, um, make sure you click this option up here. You're going to click Browse Files from your computer and upload that Excel file that you named for this variation that we're trying to add. And once you do that, um, you will click that, that it is an Excel and get it uploaded and you're done. That's it. What will happen is if everything goes well, this variation is going to automatically pop up into your inventory in your Amazon account. And it will it'll pop up in there not as the main listing that you wanted of the Gloria Vanderbilt say 12 short jeans it's going to show off to the side like its variations um, but it will be in there now if there was a problem you are going to see that there was a problem in your Amazon account and it could be that you weren't approved for um, selling that or making listings for that brand and then that's where cases can come into play. If everything is good to go, you had GTI exemption for that um, and maybe you already created the first listing uh, <laughs> whatever, um, you will have no problem. But this is how you add a um, item to an existing variation on Amazon. So thank you for watching and if you liked this content please uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and click that notification bell if you want to see more of my videos. In addition I do have a new Facebook group and I will put in the description box below the link to that Facebook group and please join me there.